Good morning, friends. Welcome to Stress-Free English Learning Class. Myself, Prashad Chakraborty, and today I am here to discuss about the chapter The All American Slug, written by Lenzi Namioka. So, before going through the chapter, I would like to say something about Lenzi Namioka. Lenzi Namioka was a Chinese-born American writer for children and young adults. She was born in the year 1929 uh, in Beijing, China. She is still alive. Uh, she has written so many important stories. Some of her important works include Ties That Bind, Ties That Break, White Serpent Castle, etc. She writes about China and the Chinese people who stays in America. She also writes about Japan because Japan is her husband's native country. People in different places have different lifestyles and eating habits. Ignorance of such differences may sometimes lead to cultural shock. In this chapter, you can see how the narrator feels towards her own culture and that of the West, and even over trivial matters such as table manners. In this chapter, the writer has mainly shown uh, two families. First one is the Gleason family. The Gleason family has three members, Mr. and Mrs. Gleason and their daughter Meg, and uh, she is also the narrator's friend. Second one is the Lin's family. In the Lin's family, there are four members, Mr. and Mrs. Lin, the narrator, and her brother. So let us go through the chapter in details. Uh, the narrator and her family immigrated to, China, to uh, America from China. In the beginning, they faced lots of problems in the table manners. In this chapter, uh, you will see about two invitations and how in both the invitations, both the family, that is, uh, they would disgrace themselves. At first, we will see how the uh, Lin's family disgrace themselves. <coughs> the narrator and uh, her family had never uh, eaten uh, celery as a raw. But when they uh, had gone to the uh, Gleason's family for invitations, they were given raw celery to eat. Now, what is celery? Celery is a vegetable with an, with an edible stalk. So, when they were given raw celery to eat, they were very much confused. They look at themselves uh, uh, and they look at other guests also, what they were doing. Uh, they found that all the other guests were eating happily. Then they also started eating happily. And after that, means, uh, means they were not finding any kind of problems because we know that raw celery has a particular, um, a different types of taste. It has a sharp taste uh, like a lemon. So, means they were eating that one quite happily, but one problem they had uh, found, that is the long strings got caught in their teeth. And when they were trying to take uh, them out, a particular zip sound was coming. And when, the, when that sound was coming, then uh, all the other guests uh, stopped eating because there was dead silence in the room. Uh, they stopped eating and they started watching, uh, watching them and they felt highly embarrassed. Then after some times, uh, Mrs. Gleason announced that uh, the dinner was ready. Uh, so, means, but the Nader family, they did not find any chair. So they took some dining, so they took some chairs from the dining table and they uh, sat down. And uh, when, the, when Mrs. Gleason saw them, Mrs. Gleason came quickly and whispered, them, uh, whispered to them that it was a, a buffet dinner uh, and if they had any problem to eat, they could go uh, in the living room and eat there. So once again they felt highly embarrassed, they tried to retreat back to the sofa quickly as if they were chased by the enemy soldiers. So this is all about Lin's family. We have seen that how they disgraced themselves. Uh, now. In, on another occasion, we will see how the I mean, how one, uh, one particular invitation that is Gleason family uh, would disgrace themselves. Mrs. Lin told uh, the narrator to uh, tell Meg about the invitation, and when the narrator told Meg about the invitations, uh, that is, Meg was very much happy. She said that she just loved to eat Chinese food, and on that particular day of invitation, Mrs. Lin. Uh, had uh, arranged uh, large plates uh, and uh, which they never used in Chinese meals, and she also uh, used uh, she also used uh, big spoons 
and kept them on the platters. And uh, when the guests were taking food, that time uh, means the narrator was watching everyone. And uh, when the narrator uh, that is saw uh, that is uh, when the narrator saw Meg's plate, the narrator was very much shocked to see that particular thing because Meg's place was was full of food, but she was trying to take food from another plate. Then on other occasions, that is when, uh, when the narrator saw Mr. Gleason, uh, means uh, she became very much horrified to see that uh, that Mr. Gleason was chasing a pea on around the plate. And uh, what what he was doing? He was trying to get hold of the pea using his chopsticks. And uh, seeing all the activities of the Gleasons, the remaining guests and uh, the narrator's members, family members, may, they stopped eating and they started watching them. And uh, the Gleasons family, they understood that one uh, and they felt highly embarrassed. So when the dinner was over, Meg's mother came and asked them that whether they would like to have some dessert uh, that is after meal. Uh, dessert is a kind of food, uh, sweet food which is taken after meal and all replied that no, uh, that is their stomach was already full. Uh, that is uh, their stomach was already filled with, uh, with the food uh, what they had taken. But Meg had, had another idea. Meg told the narrator to go out and when they went out that time Meg told that she wanted to have some dessert. That is why they went to a shop. The name of the shop is Dairy Queen. And in that shop, uh, they ordered chocolate milkshake. Meg had a large chocolate milkshake and the narrator had a smaller one. And uh, when Meg was about to come, about to finish the milkshake, that time she was making slow, slow sound. To that, the narrator asked her whether she always make sound while taking uh, any particular drink and uh, make them laughed and replied that this is not only her habit this is the habit of all the americans they used to slurp while drinking anything so this is the end of the chapter so what do we learn from the chapter we learn that each one each one of us is acquaint, is acquainted with certain customs and habits and uh, we should not uh, laugh at or criticize anyone when uh, anyone uh, means cannot do any activity perfectly. We should always try to res then we should always try to respect at others. Uh, we should always respect others as ours. Uh, so this is all about today. Hope you liked it. Uh, thank you and have a nice day.